Okay, folks, 70 degrees in Chicago today, and then you have to remember that the sun is fusion. Remember, a fire needs oxygen to burn. The sun is really not a, uh, a fire. Even though it has heat, it's all electrical, and we've pretty much everybody that's, that I somewhat, the scientific community, is showing you that uh, what I'm here, and basically don't take this they're just the distance here and I'm not anything on this. This is just really easy when you go to JPL you can usually just put in 2012 and you'll get a JPL to look at. Now what I'm going to show you is the actual factual that out by Mer uh, up by Mars out by Mars that on set you were seeing something. Now no matter what you really should only see Mars on all the maps you'll see. Now what I can show you here real fast and as you've seen we have uh, and when you see the angles, remember, it's not Pluto, it's not Neptune, but remember the distance. See, Pluto is way out on the rings, okay? And so is Neptune, and Jupiter is far enough out, and we could show you, play, even when you go and play with this, you can end up seeing Pluto uh, and Uranus, and you can do your counting, and everybody's woke up to the reality that, yes, we have found something out in space. Uh, and there's way more than what we think of planets in... Uh, at least two for sure, one absolutely positive, okay, because basically what we've seen on Soho recently, okay, because what you can do is you can use the Perillion line pretty much, and I might be wrong on calling that the Perillion line, I don't really care about definitions right now, but you can take that away and then you get the path of the sun and the path that it, the sun will be going, and I basically got some movies and stuff like that. Uh, that I can end up showing you, and it's interesting that the Pope's going to start doing. They're going to. They're up to something, and basically they got the green light for going into Syria, and they're saying it's going to be Russia. So probably something's going to end up going on in the Middle East. So, uh, and the Queen, the uh, the future Queen, is in the hospital for hope she, everything goes well with her because she's the word is she's pregnant, but she's going to be in the hospital for 30 days for so. Uh, hope that that all goes well, whatever, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to hear anybody, in the, any human being on the face of the earth, pretty much, right, so anyhow, here we go, it's just there's a bunch of information coming, th pay attention to the news, it's not all propaganda, at the same time it's propaganda, and then also information, so no matter what, what we're seeing out in space is we are seeing the actual fact, that, okay, that this object's out there, no big deal, there's tons of objects out there, okay, but in the distance of Mars, and as you, if you put and bring that Perillion line in, you can use that for doing when you see the angles and you want to know, because you've got the sun right here in the middle of the well. So you can every day always see when you're looking at the shots of what we know for objects in space, and then you can type in anything that you'd want and go to JPL and you'd get an orbital, which I didn't even, I just put 2012 in and ended up with Xu Jing. This thing was found in like 67 or something like that, okay? So when you're looking at the camp, you can get your angles for your Soho cameras at the sun because you can go and see Sechis and they'll show you what's in the view pattern. Now from what we're supposed to see now, the only thing we're supposed to see is Mars and uh, uh, Venus, which is very bright because of all the heat that it's getting, fusion from the sun, and that'll be in more videos, and also that we know that the sun travels through space, that's this line here. Now this is just a Perillion line, okay, that basically what ends up in, and I might be saying that wrong, but it's whatever it comes into alignment with the sun, okay, and basically it's always known to me magnetical, so I mean that the idea that we'll get some kind of activity usually, and it's basically we've proved that a lot in earthquakes and stuff like that. So let me show you the information that we have found something out in space from going to Sechi real fast. And I think I can just pop into Sechi. And right now, you'll just realize that when I'll, I'll give you a shot of the map too from... Now, here's our objects that, when I'll zoom out of this, that no matter what, it doesn't matter if this is Mars or not. And everything, if you pay attention to the news tonight, they're talking about Mars. No, carbon is just carbon. Everything has got a carbon footprint correct okay so they mentioned carbon so the idea that there's not they haven't found any sign of life on Mars yet okay it's just pretty much a planet that lost its atmosphere and so forth and so on now no matter what Mars is in this shot whether it's this planet down here and you can see the magnetical lines it even bleeds through a black solar panel and you can see it shades from the Sun and everything like that and you can see the magnetical field and you get in this shot because you see it in the, the satellite because you see the sunlight, the actual heat, the radiation of the electrical 
that's hot in space. That is the magnetic for all of us. And yes, we rotate around the sun, but we don't rotate flat like a plate, okay? It's just a way of always showing you where we're in positions, but everything has a different orbit. So no matter what, we've got a planet there, and we got Mars there. And if you pay attention and look at, and you can zoom in on this shot, and you can get a good look, and I'll, we'll do it in the future too, we'll take a look and I'll zoom in and make videos, but you can pretty much see it real good right here. And I, heck, I think I can pull up the magnifier real fast and we'll have enough time to just go ahead and zoom in on that planet that is up there. And as you can see the color and the magnification, because the sun's back there behind the solar panel somewhere, because that's what they have to do to get power to, to one part of the sound for the, for the power, correct? They get electrical sound waves or electrical waves, and yes, to power up the satellite, part of the power. Now, there's also a planet here. So no matter what, that's not Saturn, and we'll end up showing you Saturn in a second. Okay, so there's also a planet there. Now, it's got magnetical lines, so you know it's got magnetical connection to the sun. And as you can see, yes, there's probably more over here. And since we know that the only thing that's supposed to be somewhere here would be Mars, pick any one of these three that you can see, and if you really watch closely, you'll see way more than that. So all the way on the other side of the rotation of the sun, caught in the magnetical of the sun, there's way more than just the planets that we've always known and observed. Why? Because the sun is huge and it blocks them from us. Okay? Now, we'll get rid of this. Uh, we'll just pop out of the, uh, we'll get down to like, what, we just pop down all of a sudden, and then that's what we were looking at, all this stuff up over there. And you count your planets, you got Mercury, Earth, Venus, Jupiter, and this is more than likely Saturn right there, and let me just pop in with, with, uh, we'll just hit the zoom here on the shot, and we're bam, right there, more than likely that's Saturn, okay? So, what... It brings down a deduction no matter what. People first playing a shell game, and Bean always tells you basically watch out for three card money. Okay? Because they're always going to cover. Now, this is just basically always been behind the sun, this stuff. And we just finally get deduction no matter what. There's stuff back there. You've seen the magnetical lines. Because no matter what, there's way more. You've seen two for damn sure and possibly three or four. Okay? No matter what, way out the hell by Mars, and Mars ain't that far away. You can get there in a year and a half right now. That's why we took the window of opportunity to go there, and we can send a bunch of other stuff up to Mars right now. Mars is close in our orbit paths and stuff. Mercury, Earth, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Mars is one of them here, but there's more than one. And otherwise, you don't get anything else in this shot, okay? So you have got more planets than we know of that are magnetically connected to the sun. And more fact is that I can take you to, hang on, I can take you to, I'll take you to the other deal, I'll give you a map and show you what we see, see on our sites. No, no matter what, this is Antares or something. No matter what, that's Antares or something, doesn't matter. Now, also, now remember, they're showing you, they pay, try to play games with you, but that is Mercury and that is where it's at, but it's at a total different shot, it's at B, okay? Now, what, check this out. Now, this is why I'm always trying to show everybody that nothing's gonna hit Earth. Uh, so, now we're going to get a bunch more magnetical pull and basically the fact is they're hiding the video from us. So nothing should hit Earth, but we do have a very strange object that we've been keeping an eye on here. And we'll zoom in on this. As you see it, where H12B is the most important one that you want to keep an eye on because you can see whatever we've got at the very tip of the solar panel. Now this is a satellite on the other side. There's vast distances and I've showed you enough and you can research it A to B. Okay, so we'll zoom in on this. And as you see, they only allowed two hours of play on this today because basically what Bino had found. So what we found is what we have found, and we have found stuff. Now, the actual footage with the archives and stuff, they've got it. They've got it the whole day's mission, and there was no CME that messed it up. Even if we had a CME, we've seen plenty of CMEs, and the satellite's been going through it just fine. Now, as you can see, we'll zoom in, and I'm pointing right now that we have only two hours of play here. There's only two hours of play. Keep this in mind. We've got three objects there totally in a line you got that right there now we've seen this rotating around you can go back and watch my other videos now my pointer gets into an interesting thing but I got scatter under control ladies and gentlemen I know exactly how to deal with it okay so don't worry about that down there no it just gets my pointer back you see so SCADA supervisor control and data acquisition and I'm an American citizen I got free speech can say whatever I want whenever I want so here we've got also three and this is huge. Now this could be the sun, but it's very much more evidence that we have 
more than one sun, okay? That when they always show you that they freeze that. Now, let me pump up in size here some more. We'll go ahead and go custom 777, okay? There's tons of stars, so that's nothing earth shattering because the idea that all stars are suns, okay? Now we hit 777 and we get an even a better look. We zoom in on this. Now remember, it's only two hours of play, they froze it, but with this, now we finally get to see the suns. We got our big sun and we got two other suns, and it's always been well known, and that astrophysicist that used to work at NASA that's dead now always kind of knew it. We have three magnets up there, okay? It's electrical, magnetical, it's not flames, the sun, and I'll end up being able to show you if I can get it in this video here, a shot of the sun, what a sun actually looks like, okay? More than likely, this is our sun, suns. We have three. They're very close together, they're huge, okay? And then they can zoom in on each one of them. And basically, they just, when they show you the sun, they're not lying. They always pretty much just show this sun here. This isn't coming down to Earth and killing us and hitting us or anything like that. Very interesting is when we have all this stuff here that's been found recently and so forth and so on, and also here. Because the only thing that's supposed to be up here is just Mars, okay? Now, this could be Mars over here. This could be a great view of Mars. And it would look large because it's so darn close to the satellite. And if I'm wrong, then we got way more than one sun. And if not, this is the sun here. Then they know all this stuff is rogue stuff and it's out. But it's huge stuff. It's magnetically connected to the sun, which is basically more than likely I projected this to be the sun here. Okay? And if I'm wrong, it doesn't really matter. The sun is somewhere behind the solar panel. This stuff is huge. It's close, and it's huge. And if you think about size, once again, and we can basically go here, and we'll knock down on size, and we're all the way back down. If you see how huge that is there, that should be our sun because it's got connection to all this stuff that's out there. And no matter what, all this stuff on the other satellite that I showed you, these are two different satellites, that the idea that there's more, even in this shot, the idea, the actual factual, and what I just was looking at before we got here, Mercury and everything is is basically not behind Earth, but the actual factual that the only thing that you can see over there right now, over by the sun, is Mars on this shot. So go look at it ahead, and you can see Mercury here, and everything like that on a head. Okay, this is on a head shot. Remember, a head, the A area, throw so it B behind here, all you can see is Mercury, because it's basically looking at the sun all the time. And you'll see the sun, but you don't really see Venus because Venus is out of the picture, okay? And then that's, I showed you those other objects which weren't Venus. So there are objects up there on the compressed. Let's see what we got on the compressed today. Now it's interesting today here on a head, on the compressed version, you see the magnetical lines of, yes, you're going to see the magnetical lines of Venus and Mercury, but they don't give us the images of them. And more than likely that's, uh, would, I would guess it either, it doesn't matter, Venus or Mercury doesn't matter, but there's something there also, you see, between but you don't really see, you just see a little bit of a magnetical line right here. So something's farther off, but the idea that it possibly isn't a magnetical of, yes, and smaller than Mercury, which is Mercury's the same size as the Moon, so it's no huge big deal, but there is plenty of stuff out there, okay? Tons of stuff out there. Now remember, these are magnetical lines, so you know there's planets. Now there is Mercury, more than likely, somewhere on the static line, being a long ways away but then again, you have to figure out all the angles on all these magneticals you got. One, two, three, four, five magnetical lines for sure, and it's shooting all the way across here. And the only thing that's supposed to be in view is just Mercury and Venus of that shot, okay? So to the right, Earth's not got a magnetical line that's going to show up on that. So the idea, there's even more stuff even up by Venus and Mercury. Now, the end of the world's not coming and everything's fine, okay? But remember, when satellites start falling out of the sky, that means something's at war on Earth, okay? Because you'd knock each other's satellites out, okay? So remember that. Whenever there's ever a conflict and satellites are falling out of the sky, it's not Martians coming. It's people on Earth fighting, okay? So anyway, as you can see here, there is nothing basically going to endanger Earth at all. So as you can see, everybody is safe on Earth, okay? So it's only human beings that if satellites start hitting the ground or anything starts happening and everything's all hunky-dory. But if you pay attention to news, all kinds of stuff going on. Not yet, but it's going to be. So anyhow, no aliens. Nothing's going to hit Earth, as you can see here, because everything that we're paying attention to... Now, this is not the one we found... Well, we have found. We've found more than... There's more over here than Mars. See, Mercury's up over here. See, Mars is the only thing that's over here. And let me show you some more actual factual on that. So, 
That's why if you go in JPL and you can play around with it yourself, and, and you'll see that the only thing that's going to be over there is Mars. It's the only thing over by the sun. Otherwise,